In Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, you'll be fighting against fearsome foes to protect your friends and planet Earth from utter destruction. But in order to do so, you must always remember to train hard and power up the Z Warriors. Today, let's take a dive into the character progression aspect of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. In order to prepare for the devastating death matches that await you, like in any other action RPG, players will be able to fight enemies, earn experience points, and level up their characters. However, in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, you are able to power up Goku and friends in a lot of other ways. Eating is especially important, as not only will you be getting temporary buffs, but also a permanent increase in your character's stats. You can eat some fruits on the go or cook meat at campfires. But the best way to acquire food with high stat boosts is to head to a cook located in towns or small villages to create dishes. Or even better, go home, talk to Chi Chi, and ask her to create a full course meal for you. You'll have to go on the hunt as you'll be needing ingredients, as well as recipes, which you can acquire through subquests or by talking to NPCs. Searching through areas and collecting Z orbs is essential for acquiring super attacks. You're able to collect different Z orbs throughout the game. Colored Z orbs are typically found in areas that are related to their color. Once you've acquired the necessary Z orbs, open the character's skill tree and unlock slots to acquire new special attacks or power up existing ones. In order to unlock skills with the green icon, you must visit training grounds located in different areas. In order to access the different training options, you must use D medals, which can be found all over the world. Searching for key will help you find medals a little easier, so be sure to keep an eye out. Once you have enough D medals, you can begin the mental training against other Z warriors, enemies from the past, and even yourself. Finally, a unique way to power up your party is through the community boards. By progressing through the main story, or helping out different characters from the Dragon Ball Z world through subquests, you will be gifted with their soul emblems. By placing these emblems on the community board, you can increase the board's rank, giving you access to its community skills. These skills will provide helpful effects on your adventure. There are seven different community boards, and each provide different community skills. Placing specific soul emblems next to one another will activate what's called a link bonus. Activating a link bonus makes it easier to raise a community's rank. You may also be able to hear some exclusive dialogue between characters. As you can see, the world of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is filled with many ways to grow stronger and defeat the most fearsome enemies that stand in your way during the adventure. That's all for today, but keep your scouters on the lookout for our next videos on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Get ready for the full version of the game coming on January 17th on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4.